white female driving a black Mercedes G-Wagon on Route 68 near 941 is driving very aggressive and is yelling at people on the road. San Andreas 535, I'll be en route to the number one call, Route 68. Alright, like you guys just saw on the text, we have a G-Wagon driving aggressively. So, we're kind of wanting to get there, you know, in a reasonable fashion, especially if she's road raging. I think it said postal 941. Let's just pull it back up again. Yeah, 9141, yeah. Doesn't say which direction she's going, though. So. We'll head this way. See what we can find. I do really like this Durango, though. This thing is a beast. It's a very nice car. Handles, handles pretty well. Is this her in the dirt? What the fuck? 535, show me on scene. Okay. She drunk? Really? She just did a jank ass U turn. Okay, buddy. That was so close. San Andreas 535-1050. Westbound Route 68, nearest postal 942 on a black Mercedes G-Wagon. 1028 of Sierra, Charlie, Quebec, Echo 8964. SCQ. SCQ. I feel like this is Tatiana's. Yep. Tatiana Fernando de Guia Garcia Sanchez Gloria Finn. Driver's license is valid. Didn't look like her driving. So we will go and. The windows are all smashed as well. Hi ma'am, Trevor Thornton with the San Andreas Highway Patrol, how are you? I am doing just fine there, uh, uh, Trooper. Doing just fine, okay. So I just, I signaled to you to pull over and stuff, and then you do a U-turn. What was that about? You pulled over nicely in the dirt over there, and then you just whipped a U-turn. Don't tell nobody this. But that side of the road has reptiles, and I can't have no reptiles on me. I do not stand the reptiles. I can't. I can't fear them. The reptiles. They all need to die. Right. Okay, man. You got your license, registration, and proof of insurance for the motor vehicle on you. Yeah. Uh, I, I I have my driver's license. Right. You got insurance for the vehicle. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think it's in the glib glib bags. Give me a second. Okay. Is this car yours, ma'am? Yeah, uh, it's a matter of opinion. It's a matter of opinion. You want to elaborate on what you mean by that, ma'am? There's no judgement here, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of whose car it is. Pretty simple question, is it your car or not? Yeah. No, it, it, it's my friend's car. Okay, what's her name? Or his name? Yeah. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, okay. Is he, has he got, is this gonna be all in his name, this um, registration and all that? Yeah. Right, okay. And, yeah. Can you just tell me again, what was the name, who, who owns the vehicle? Uh, 
Abraham Kardashian. You just told me Abraham Lincoln, and now you're saying Abraham Kardashian. So, which one of them? No, is it? no, I didn't. You, no, I did not. Which which ones? Are, no, you didn't. Like which one didn't you do? I'm not good at the math. There was no math in that, ma'am. You you told me two different names. So which one was the wrong one, and which one was the right one? Should I carry the one? No, 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 ma'am. I'm. Who who owns the motor vehicle that you're currently sitting in? Uh, a Abraham. Uh, to the power of, of seven. No, no, ma'am. Who owns this car? Like the car that you are currently driving. Who owns it? Oh my goodness. Uh. Yeah, yeah, Abraham Kardashian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Okay, so how did you get this vehicle, ma'am? Yeah, it was pretty easy. I saw it parked in a, a parking lot, so I broke the window and hotwired it. And I'm just borrowing it. Okay, so you saw this car in a parking lot. You broke the window. You, you know, you jump started it and then you borrowed it. Is that what you're saying? Cause I mean, if you're just borrowing it, then it's okay, you know. Oh, oh yeah, I, I just borrowed it. Uh, uh, I, I broke the window, and uh, the reptile king is in my head. He's telling me to do this. I needed to borrow it. Okay, um, ma'am, just go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me, cause just cause this window is broken and it's pretty cold in your car, like I'm feeling the cold wind coming in and out, and we'll go and take a seat in my car. It'll be a lot warmer, okay? And then we can just have a quick chat. Ew, okay. And then we'll get you on your way, okay? Oh. So just step out, come up to the back of your car, and then just cut across to me, okay? Uh, oh no, I think my coochie steam is making the leather in this car peel away. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, just step out of the car. Yep. Now come to the back. Oh, who's this fine gentleman? Yeah, just come, ma'am. Ma'am, just come over oh, here for me, you? please. Ma'am. Hello. Ma'am, just... Ma'am, just come over here mm -hmm. for me. Is the answer four? Yeah. I just want you to face my car for a second. Can I lick it? Sure. Mm. Oh my goodness, what is this? Okay. What's happening? Ma'am. What's going ma on? Ma'am, I'm just Did detaining you. Did I carry you? the one? Yeah, you didn't carry the one correctly, that's correct. So I'm just oh going to detain goodness. you and we're going to teach you some correct maths and then we'll have you on your way, okay? Oh, well, perfect. Alright, face away from me for a second. Have you got anything on you that's going to stick, Pogo, or Hermie? Uh, just a heroin needle. Just a... Whereabouts is the needle? Hey, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You're just kidding. Okay, do you have anything on you that's going to stick, poke, or hurt me in any way? Eh, just these fine-ass curves, but other than okay. that, no. Alright, I'm just going to hang on to your phone for now, okay? Oh, okay. Alright, I'm going to open this door for you and you're going to take a seat here, okay? Oh. Go ahead and sit in there and just take a seat. San Andreas 535, show me with 1 times 1015 at this time. So you can go around. You're a moron, I get it, but... He's Is not... there any music in this car? My favorite song is Coochalicious. Coochalicious? Uh, probably not, ma'am, it's a police car. Uh, they used to buy it. Ma'am, is there any issues with your driver's license? You checked it out, you know, you've checked it out and, you know, made sure it's all good? Yeah. Am I supposed to do that? Yeah, currently your driver's license is, is expired, okay? I just couldn't pay the fees. I had to spend a little more on the good math. All right, you want to tell me one one more time who owns the the car in front of us? 
uh, Abraham, and if you carry the wound. Oh, Damn it, I can't sake. carry the wound. I can't do the maths here. That's okay. Can't do we'll help you do the maths in a second. Um, and whereabouts did you say you got the car from? Uh, I uh, legally borrowed it from the parking lot at the motel over there. Yeah, how did you legally borrow it? How did you legally get into it? Well, I used the fist of justice to break the window, and then I used the wires of lawfulness to expose the wires and the car started right so miss monet at this time you're being placed under arrest for um stealing a motor vehicle you do have the right to remain silent anything you say or do may and will be used against you in the court of law you have the right to an attorney if you cannot afford one want to be appointed to you by the state of san andreas do you understand these rights that i've just read to you are there any highway units I don't understand. Bond. This is what happens when you, when you don't carry the wood. What was that, ma'am? Sorry. My radio was going off. This, this is what happens when you don't carry the wood. Okay. Is there anything in the car that I need to know about that shouldn't be in there? Eh, uh, no. There's ne not that I know of anyway. I don't know if there's a dead body. It wasn't me. Okay. You're definitely sure on that because you're the driver, which means, you know, whatever I find in there could become your responsibility and you could be charged with it. So, you, you sure that there's nothing in there that you're aware of? Uh, nope. Not that I'm aware of the, uh, at least ten. Alright. She's got an expired license, not a huge deal. It could have been a citation. Uh, the car, on the other hand, it's not coming back as it's stolen. You know, it's uh, no flags found, insurance is valid. So, yes, reported stolen. Not long ago. Alright. Just hang out, ma'am. I'll be back with you. Okay. 535 requesting a 1070 to my location for a black G-Wagon. Alright, check the glove box. Glove box is clear, they're my things, so that's okay. We're gonna open the trunk. Uh, I gotta go through the player options to even do this. Nope. Fine shards of glass and a heroin needle in the trunk with blood on it, with a spoon that's burnt and a lighter. Well, that's always good. Nope. Oh, nope. That's awkward. I don't know which one it is. Bugger, we won't worry about it. I don't think E bin works. E bin. No, it doesn't. Alright, we'll grab a bag, because I. That's some nasty stuff that. Seriously? That's not gonna work now. Alright, tow is arriving. Maybe. 
Can't really get much closer to this car. It doesn't want a DB. That's always good. You must be in it. I am in it. There we go. 535. Show me back in route to Sandy with one time send 15 for processing. You comfortable, ma'am? Uh, I'm very comfortable. Yes, this is a nice car. It is. All right. Um, I'm just going to leave you up front here, and we're just going to head down to the station, and we'll sort this out a bit further, okay? Oh, okay. Can you explain some maths to me? Ma'am, just hang on one sec. My radio's going off. Traffic for 535, 10 -9, please. Would you like uh, me to respond up north to Route 13, cross the Sonora to deal with the kids throwing snowballs cars? Copy of any available unit can respond to that. I'm currently 10 6 with 1 10 15. Copy, 489 responding. Wait for this Sam King to go past and then I can do a U turn, which would be great. That's what we were literally waiting for the whole time. Alright guys, so we're going to head back down, we'll head to, we won't go to Mission Row or anything, we'll just head down to the Sandy BCSO and we'll process Miss Monet there and, you know, be on our way kind of thing. It's pretty open and shut though, so, yeah. I will talk to you guys once we get there. Alright guys, we're just pulling up here at um, BCSO and I'm a little in the dirt because I'm not a great driver, obviously. that box which is something that we don't want to do turn that off all right miss Monet just didn't work miss Monet you can go ahead and step out for me oh thank you no worries come with me ma'am 535 show me arrival at BCSO in Sandy all right just come this way ma'am Oh, where are we going? Um, we're just going to go into one of these nice, comfy, warm rooms over here. If I can get around you. Oh, was this where I'm taking the math exam? Yeah, just in here. You've even got a bathroom just in case you need to go. Oh. Alright, go ahead and back up to the doors for me and I'll remove the bracelets. Oh, okay. Alright, Miss Monet, can you face me for a sec? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I just, I've read you your rights. You understand what I said to you, don't you? Uh, yes. Alright, I have a question. Are you willing to answer it for me? Sh sure. Okay. So you saw the black jeep wagon in the, in the parking lot. You decided to borrow it. May I ask why you decided that you wanted to borrow it? Because the reptilians have been whispering into my ear that I needed to take that vehicle because it will help me find the other reptilians. Right. I, I have a feeling I've met you before and you you were buying a gun or something to mow down the reptilians. Um, so you have met me. Yeah, I'm just putting it back together God now. God have mercy on their souls. Okay, who exactly are the reptilians? That's a. Uh, it's very classified information you're asking. In. Well, I mean, I'm a police officer. You're just a civilian, so I think we can go ahead and declassify it, and you can just go ahead and tell me who they are. What do you reckon? Yeah. Well, the reptiles—they're disguised as regular people, but oh, I am trained to know when they're not. Like, you'll hear the. You'll hear them sss all the time. <laughs> That's when you know. But not everyone can hear that sss. Is she kidding me right now? Ma'am, I have another question, okay? So I found a syringe and okay. a pipe and some and a spoon and stuff in the trunk of the car that you took. Is that your stuff? Eh. Uh, That's okay if it is. Uh 
Well, is the cosine of 2x divided by the derivative of v right. equal pi 2? So, ma'am, do you, like, do you currently or have you ever participated in doing illegal narcotics? So, what I'm meaning by that, do you, do you partake in, like, illegal substances like that? So, do you use meth or cocaine or anything like that? Heroin? Have you been, have you been talking to my mother again? Who's, sorry, ma'am, I don't know who your mother is. I'm, I'm asking you, do you take illegal substances? That woman says I'm I'm a drug addict. I'm not a drug addict. I just do the maths once in a while, okay? There's nothing wrong so with that. So you just do the maths every once in a while, okay? That's the, I'm not here to judge you or anything like that. I'm just trying to paint a picture, okay? So did you did you by any chance at all take any meth earlier on today? Yes, I did. Okay. And do you know how much or like what so, like sort of quantity that you you know of the uh, meth you took, or uh, where you got it from, or anything like that? Eh, well, I got it from this now nice gentleman in an alleyway. I don't know his name, but he looks real trustworthy. And uh, he gave me a small baggie, uh, like, well, like one, one ounce. I, I don't know. I don't, uh, I'm not good at the math. Oh, God. And, uh, what did, what did he look from? like? Such a nice bird. Ma'am, ma'am, the guy who sold you the meth, what did he look like? Hmm? What he looked like? Well, he had a nose and, and <sighs> eyes and a chin. No, I mean like physical traits. What did you notice about him? Color of his hair, his eye color, uh, the way he spoke and, uh, you know, his, his race, stuff like that. Well, he, he was a, a white man. Um, he had a, a, a beard, he was very tall, uh, skinny, kind of hunky if you ask me. Hunky, uh, but he was skinny. He did have a gun. He had a gun or he didn't? He did. Okay, what kind of and gun? A badge. He had a badge. He had a... weird, it looked fake though. He had a badge. Like a police badge? Like the badge that's on yeah. my chest? No, it didn't look like that. It kind of looked more like an eagle. Right, okay. Is there anything else? Eh. Uh, no, I don't think so. Alright, just hang out here. I'll be back with you, okay? Oh, okay. She is off her rocket. She is literally off her rocker, that lady. She's got, f what? Fling or attempting to elude by a j 101. Short barrel, jeez. Oh, Another one by 101. She's got a ticket here from Mark. She's got another ticket from Richard. That's some messed up shit. The date it today is the month is the twelfth. The day is the thirteenth of twenty nineteen. Location is gonna be Sandy. If it wants to type in there, Sandy Shores B C S O. Five thirty five. I got one taken off for me. 10-4, I'm currently 10-6 still. T... T... Uh, we got, what, Grand Theft Auto. This will take a while to load because there's so many charges in here and it takes forever. Grand Theft, 30, uh, 30 less than... Grand Theft of Tess. Grand, Grand Theft Auto. See what comes up now.
489. Can I get a 1071 northbound? Grand Theft of Motor Vehicle. Route. There we go. Six, southbound Sonora Freeway underneath the 68 overpass. Pedestrian hit by a car. So we got Grand Theft Auto of a Motor Vehicle. Uh, what else did she do? I'm just going to get it with that. That's a pretty decent sized charge. I'll let detectives know about her, um... Uh, what's that? About her drugs and all that, they can talk to her and try and get a bit more out of that. I've already taken a bit of that statement. There's currently a pursuit going on as well. Um, so we might try and... Sounds like it might be over though, because he just called for a medic. Alright, ma'am. So, currently you've been charged with the Grand Theft Auto of the motor vehicle. You know, you've confessed to me that you broke the window and you put a screwdriver in it and you started it and then you drove it on the roadway, okay? So that's a felony three. It's going to be a $150,000 bail um, that will be set by the judge when you go probably to the hearing shortly. Or you can be incarcerated immediately and see the judge a little bit later on. What would you like to do? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go to jail because I can't count past three. Alright. I just need your left thumbprint, ma'am, on this um, documentation in front of me. If you can just stick your thumb through the bar, there you go. Perfect. It's almost like you've done this before. Uh, I've taken a math exam multiple, multiple times. Okay. This booking officer behind me is going to take you very shortly down um, to where you're going to be held in another cell, okay? So you just just be patient, and we'll try and get things moving along. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Bye. Uh, 33. Jail. 1. 33. 4. And they are off to jail. And we're going to be 10 eight. So that was a very, very interesting call. She's going to jail. She's fucked. Um, you know, that was bound to happen. We are going to get back on the highway. It's probably not much going to happen because, you know, people have been getting off while we're in the middle of that scene. So, uh, probably not much is going to happen now, so... I probably am going to end it there guys, so thanks for watching the video, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, you know, what's happened, and I will see you all in the next one, goodbye.